Hi, I'm Sid Vilas. I've secured AR1 in JE Advanced 2023. I've also secured AR15 in JE Main 2023. I'm a regular classroom student of Switches and Chandigarh. For JE Main's examination, the most important thing is PYQs. We have to give like all the JE Main previous year papers and the exams that NTA has conducted, as many as you can. And you have to analyze every single paper and collect all the questions that you have done wrong or that you are unable to solve and frequently revisit those questions. You can do this like around one and one and a half, one and a half month before the exam. And the frequency could be like around one test per week or one test for two weeks as whatever you wish. And then when the exam gets closer, increase the frequency. The All India Test Series of JE Mains that Sri Chaitanya conducts, they are also extremely relevant to JE Mains. And what other things I would advise is go through NCRT chemistry entirely and collect all the important points and put star marks. And like 5 to 10 days before the JE Mains exam, just go through the all the star marks. And you have to cram some things as well in for chemistry. And from physics point of view, I would say there are only some theoretical concepts which I have to read NCRT for. For other things, just go through basic things and whatever notes you have. For JE mains, I would recommend using uh, NCRT chemistry and Narendra Vasti for physical chemistry, Himanshu Pandey for organic chemistry. Use these books for JE mains and once your JE mains is done, you can use some higher level books such as MS Chohan for organic chemistry and K Kumar for inorganic chemistry which are more relevant for advanced. Don't do those books for JE mains. Testing is the key for JE mains. As many tests as you can give, you have to give them and analyze every single test that you gave, where you are doing mistakes and all those things. And if you give many tests, you'll get a grip over the time management skills. You'll get a grip over how to manage time effectively during the exam and how much time you have to devote to maths, physics and chemistry and everything will get right in your hands. In all India test series that you give or any other mock test that you give for JE mains, try to ensure you score as much as you can. But suppose let's say you have scored less in some exam, don't get disappointed. Just analyze the paper, what all mistakes you have done, how do you rectify those for the next exam and make sure that you are going to score better in the next exam because now you have analyzed your mistakes and you have got better at it. And day by day, exam by exam, you will automatically enhance your performance and on the final JE day, you will definitely do better. There is no single order that always works for everyone. Such as for me, I used to initially follow MPC and then I followed to MCP and finally I got it changed to PCM. So you have to try all the possible orders out there. Like for 2-3 to three exams, try PCM, then try PMC and all those things and check which suits you the most. What I recommend is that don't keep chemistry at last because when you keep chemistry at last, there is scope of silly mistakes. So keep chemistry uh, at the beginning, like first or second. After your JE mains is done, now you have to change your gear, get adapted to the JE advanced paper pattern. The pattern of questions is very different in JE advanced and JE mains. The type of questions that they ask, the way that they frame the questions, are actually different between JE mains and advanced. So I would recommend uh, do a lot of mock tests that are relevant to JE advanced and get adapted to the JE advanced paper pattern. If you ask me what should be the preparation for the last one month, well it's different for everyone. It was different between me and my seniors, between me and my batchmates. Everyone had a different strategy. We had some similarities as well as differences such as I used to solve different material, Harsh used to solve different material, Saksham used to solve some other material and we all focused on our own weak areas and strengthened them and we used to have different discussion slots on different topics but we had some similarities as well such as we all together did inorganic chemistry in the last some days and we all gave morning tests as well and we all focused more on revisiting JEPYQs which are actually very relevant so there will be similarities as well as some differences but more important thing is that you have to focus on your weaker areas and strengthen them and get things to your tips during the last one month be it whatever method on the last day what's more important is that just stay relaxed stay cool and just chill you just need not do much uh, topics or you need not do any solving that's up to you but just stay calm and just relax. 
what i did on my last day was i did some basic solving material that uh, my maths sir has sent i've done ncert sets and relations chapter and some other basic stuff of maths i've solved the most important things for je are determination and perseverance in such a big journey uh, there will be many ups and downs disappointments sometimes you'll get a very good score sometimes you'll get a bad score people will say things like he will do good in the final exam he'll do bad in the final exam he is suited he is not suited and many things but all those things do not matter at all the only things that matter are your determination and your perseverance if you are really determined for your goal you'll definitely achieve it beat anything my success mantra is work hard give your best and don't care about the result